Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I will show you a brand new method to enable JIT on all of your iOS 26 and lower devices. Yes, I made guides on how to enable JIT, but some of you commented me that you are facing some issues. So I thought it is a good idea to make a guide on this new method, which currently works. This method is completely free and legit and you can use it to enable JIT for the apps that require it so that they run at full speed and it does not require a jailbreak. First of all, on your device, you will require this app. You can see it right here. It is completely free and you can get it from the app store. You can simply search for it from the app store and get it from here. Once it is installed, go to settings go to touch id and passcode and make sure that you set a passcode if it is not already set once set go back and then also install an app that you want to enable jet for for this demo just to be safe i am using utm which you can use to run a vm and using this we can confirm that yes jet was enabled if it is not enabled you will see this message and also if you try to start it you will see this message which means that jet needs to be enabled and it is not currently enabled you can install your apps using side lordly or plume impactor the full plume impactor guide is in the description for you on how to use it on windows also once an app is installed go to settings again go to general then go to device management and trust this app from here make sure wi-fi is connected then go back then go to privacy and security and from there you will see developer mode you will see developer mode once an app is installed you will see it here it will be off simply turn it on it will require a reboot and you are done now your device is very much prepared now let's go to the computer and follow the rest of the steps now once our device is prepared we will move to stick debug and you can see it right here where at its official github page it is completely free you can simply scroll down and you'll see the latest release right here and simply get the ipa to your computer first as you can see i already got the ipa to my computer second simply install itunes you can install itunes from the official apple's website and simply get it from here and install it on your windows pc once again for this demo we are using a utm we are at the official github page for utm it is completely free and simply we are getting the latest release from here and you will see the ipa from here as you can see i already got it now you can open side lordly or plume impactor to install these ipas first of all the stick debug which is required and second any app which you want to enable jet for simply connect your device and then open side lordly or plume impactor then hit import select stick debug from here hit open and then hit install all right once the process is complete you can simply go back and install the app you want to enable JIT for using the same method. Next, we need a pairing file. To get a pairing file, we will require Jitter bug pair. We will simply head to the official GitHub page for Jitter bug pair. It is also completely free. You can now simply head to the latest releases. Scroll down until you see Jitter bug pair when 64. Simply get this zip file. Once you get the zip file, right click, extract all, and you will get this folder. Simply open it. Make sure your device is connected and it is unlocked and then simply run jitter bug pair on your device you will see a trust dialog hit on trust type in your password and then simply run it again all right and it will get you this file this is the pairing file all right then simply open stick debug once and then close it now open itunes and then head to file sharing all right and you will see a stick debug right here now hit on add file simply select the pairing file you just got from the device open and this will save the pairing file to the stick debug documents now you can close out of itunes now we will follow the rest of the steps on device now guys on your device simply open this app skip hit on connect allow simply type in your password and you will see that it is now connected the purpose of this is to let your device connect to itself so that we can use stick debug to enable jet. Now you can open stick debug. 
go to settings scroll until you see import new pairing file simply hit on it hit on browse on my iphone you will see this folder stick debug open it and here is your pairing file simply hit it you will see that the file is now imported go home and you should see that the heartbeat is responding all right if you see any error minus 10 or minus 7 simply regenerate the pairing file send it over to your device and then import a new pairing file and the error will go away once this is completed simply scroll down and then hit connect by app and you will see all the apps that you have installed for example i have utm installed i will simply hit it and this will open utm with jet enabled now to prove i will simply hit this plus button you can see the message is now different which means that jet is now indeed enabled so you can use the similar method with any other app which require jet and it will run at full speed that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself